Pike's going to come up later. Anyway, the Bavarian, Lo the Bavarian Illuminati was a real secret society founded in 1776 by Adam Weishaupt, a German Freemason. Allegedly in coots with George Washington. Washington wrote in 1798, quote, It was not my intention to doubt that the doctrines of the Illuminati had not spread in the United States. On the contrary. No one is more truly satisfied of this fact than I am. This intellectual was a professor at the University of Ingolstadt. Now, Time Magazine says, like the Rosicrucians who preceded them on the world stage, the Illuminati began as a self-selected group of intellectuals seeking to free themselves from the age-old change of church and state. Now, what's really interesting is they're trying to paint the Illuminati as good, which is quite interesting because they're saying that the church is the one who is lying to everybody and that they're the good guys and we're going to further investigate that that's why we got the da vinci code that's a very interesting book when you go back and look at it from a, a masonic and illuminati point of view because this is stating that leonardo da vinci and all of them knew that they're saying that jesus was human and that he had a wife in mary magdalene and that he had a royal bloodline and that it continued on earth and that that bloodline would threaten the power of the vatican interesting storyline indeed so anyway let's get on with this bavarian illuminati Anyway, they all adopt the all-seeing eye adopted from Egyptian mythology, the urge to wrest control, wrest order from chaos, and the search for an enlightened new world order. A new world order. The following announcement has been paid for by the new world order. A new world order. And in the new world order. Freddy, I'm getting presents in the new world order. A new world order. After 1989, President Bush kept said, and it's a phrase that I often use myself, that we needed a new world order, and instead we could talk about a lot of disorder. And still, and, and after 9-11, we've been more sensitive. Can it truly be said that these create a new world order? Can it really be said that we're building a new world order? Masons and other occultists went to America. They set up the city of Washington, D.C. with the Masonic symbols in the streets. Have a look at this place. You are now looking at a map of Washington, D.C., and you will see the symbols built into the streets of that great city. A friend of ours who is an airline pilot says that when he flies in there, he can see it very clearly. There you have streets set out in the Masonic symbols, you see. There's the compass. There's the square up there, you see. 
Now, would you please notice where the end of the compass finishes? It finishes at the White House. And what about other secret societies? They still exist, the Skull and Bones. And we've had several presidents uh, that were members. That's Skull and Bones, 322. It's the secret society in Yale where George Bush and where they teach you how to, you know, run world politics. The Illuminati can be generally difficult to define, so I will stick to the basic facts to keep it as simple as I can for the sake of this presentation. The Illuminati are a secret society founded in 1776 in Bavaria, Germany by a chap called Adam Weishaupt. The word itself, Illuminati, literally means to be illuminated with knowledge, as this knowledge in turn brings light, illuminating the individual. They are deeply occultic in their beliefs and they revel in secret knowledge. Another name for Satan is Lucifer. Lucifer, which literally translates to light bearer, is more likely to be portrayed as a beautiful angel and light giving. It is common amongst the secret societies and occultic beliefs for Lucifer to be considered as the source, the source of everything, but especially of all light and of all knowledge. The Illuminati are 100% Luciferian in their philosophy. They sincerely believe that the serpent or the devil is the good guy in the Genesis account and that Eve was right to eat of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and that when she did, she did become like God. Albert Pike, one of the founding fathers of Freemasonry, was himself a 32 degree Freemason. He was also a top leader in the Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Pike, being Sovereign Grand Commander of the Scottish Rite, was a devout Luciferian. His famous work, Morals and Dogma, in 1871, is still today considered to be the handbook or study guide for the Scottish Rite within Freemasonry. This is a direct quote from Albert Pike's work, Morals and Dogma. Open quote. Lucifer, the light bearer, strange and mysterious name to give to the spirit of darkness. Lucifer, the son of the morning, is it he who bears the light? Doubt it not, end quote. However, the Bible contradicts this teaching. It exposes Lucifer as being Satan, open quote. And no wonder, for even Satan himself disguises himself as an angel of light, close quote. The esoteric symbol to present Lucifer is traditionally the lightning bolt. This is referencing Jesus' words in Luke chapter 10, verse 18, when he says, quote, And I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Okay. People hear some common occult and Masonic symbols you should be looking for. Here's Satan's bolt because there's a chapter in the scriptures on Luke about where Satan fell from heaven and Jesus observed him as a lightning bolt. It is not confirmed how many people belong to the Illuminati. According to a credible ex Illuminati member known as Svali, they make up approximately 1% of the population. They consist of 13 bloodlines. That is to say, you are either born into the order or you're not. So if you hear Lady Gargoyle's Illuminati, it is unlikely that she is in the bloodline and actually a part of the Illuminati order. It is more likely the case she has been recruited by them to promote their agenda and help them indoctrinate the next generation. Lady Gaga is just one of the many music artists who have openly sold their soul to the industry in exchange for fame and fortune, hence why her debut album is titled The Fame Monster. I know, and it was a tough weekend. You could always use it now, oxygen. But the truth is, What this is all about is that you are all suffering for your love of music. They are the head of the banking systems. They are the think tanks of the world, the political groups, the educational groups. They own all mainstream media channels and their main agenda is simple, world domination, commonly called the New World Order. 
They want one global village of which they control. They see us, the general public, the masses, as nothing more than a bewildered herd or cattle. Their nickname for us, the people, is the sheeple. The Rockefellers are one of the more commonly known Illuminati families, and David Rockefeller, currently the patriarch of the Rockefeller family, is an American banker and philanthropist. Not just any American banker, mind you. He, along with the Rothschilds, another Illuminati bloodline, between these two families own the entire financial banking system and thus solely control the Federal Reserve, the Rockefellers controlling America and the Rothschilds covering the finances and banks in Europe. David Rockefeller is also the founder of the Council of Foreign Relations and the Trilateral Commission. Both of these political groups basically get together to discuss foreign policy and ultimately are responsible for deciding the future of the world, which again and again the same theme emerges, a new world order, and he makes no secret of this. David Rockefeller is quoted in his book Memoirs as saying, quote, some even believe we are part of a secret cabal working against the best interests of the United States, characterizing my family and me as internationalists and of conspiring with others around the world to build a more integrated global political and economic structure, one world if you will. If that's the charge, I stand guilty and I'm proud of it. I need to move on, but if you are interested in more information about the New World Order and the Illuminati's agenda, how they plan to achieve world domination, check out the Georgia Guidestones. This is a monument erected in Elbert County, Georgia, which has their agenda engraved in their own words on each side of the four stone slabs in a different language. There are ten guides, or commandments if you will, openly outlining their intentions how they intend to reduce the world population over 80% from 7 billion down to just 500 million and bring about a new one world religion or universal spirituality. This monument is generally shrouded with mystery, but the engraved tribute found next to it is a big clue. It has inscribed, let these be guidestones to an age of reason. The Age of Reason is a book written by Thomas Paine in 1794. Its intent was to destroy the Judeo-Christian beliefs upon which the American Republic was founded. I should issue a warning at this point that this is all pretty disturbing and very serious, and it's very much out there if you want to look further into it. It's all there, hiding in plain sight. Call himself R.C. Christian, uh, that's not his real name, says it out of the stones, assuming false name. On these Georgia Guidestones, it gives the Ten Commandments for the New World Order. Ten Commandments for the New World Order. The first commandment was to maintain humanity under a half a billion. I went there and looked at those things and said, no, hold on a minute. Today's population is six billion. They want to maintain humanity under one half a billion. Looks like a lot of people are going to die before their plan to work. Which is, by the way, the plan...